Okay, so welcome back to this course. So now in this section, we will handle all about the card. We will handle this quantity select, add to card, and then also this card page. So first of all, in this video, I want to handle this quantity select. So this plus button and the minus button. Now for example, if I have five products in this product, I, I have stock of five. Then I can only allow user to select only five products here. Okay, so when I click on plus, I have to change it to two, three, four, five. Then I cannot allow the user to uh, move on towards six, seven, eight because I only have like uh, five products in this stock. Okay, so we have to handle the quantity select for this. Okay, so I simply go to my VS Code. I have to close all this. Uh, that is from previous section. So I simply also go this back and go to my product and product details because here I have the um, button. So I have here two buttons that is so this minus and this plus. Okay. And on the minus I will simply add here on click event. Okay. So on click I need to call here the decrease stock or you can call it decrease quantity whatever you want to do so decrease stock okay and then for I call it quantity instead of stock so decrease QTY like this so I simply copy it control C put that right here that is increase quantity okay so on click on the plus button I have to increase the quantity and on the minus I have to decrease the quantity. So let's go to the top and define these functions. So first of all let's simply put in here cons increase stock increase not stock that is increase QT by quantity. Okay. And this is going to be an arrow function. Alright. And then also you have to define the decrease quantity so so decrease quantity okay so the quality first of all have to type here const count equals to document dot query selector and I want to select the dot count so dot count is the field if I go back you will see here so uh, this is so this is the input field that has the class name of count okay so by default the value is going to be one so you have to select this and select the count and then I will check that if count count dot value as number Remember, this is a number field. This is this is a number field. Here it is. Uh, this one. So I can call its property that value as number. I want to get its value as number. Then I will check that if the value is greater than or equal to the product dot stock. Whatever product this this one, I will check that it's stock. So if the value dot number, so if the count is greater than the product dot stock, I simply have to uh, return from here. In fact, I remove this brackets. Let's just put it here. The return. Okay. So, for example, if we have five products in the stock, and if, if if it is equal to five, so I will simply have to return from here. But if it is less than, or if this condition is not true, then I simply have to type here cons qty quantity equals to count dot value as number plus one I will add one to it and I will simply set quantity as QTY okay and also I have to define here the QTY so I simply put it here oops cons quantity okay quantity oops and then the set quantity and by default I use a use state and by default the value is going to be 1 and you have to bring in the use state also okay so now I will simply set here the quantity to this current quantity right and for 
And for this one, I simply copy it and I put it here. I'll check that if the quantity count dot value as number is less than equal to one. Okay, then I have to simply return it because I cannot allow user to set minus one or minus two. So if it is equal to one or less than one, definitely if it is equal to one, it is not going to uh, decrease the stock. Okay. Else I want to put in here minus one, I will decrease my quantity and set the quantity. All right. And then I simply go here. And now the value is going to be the quantity, not the one. All right. And also this field is read only. Simply save it. Now if I go back, go to this product, this one. Now this is already out of stock, I click on plus, it is not going to work because it is already out of stock. So I cannot reuse it here. But if I go to this one, click on plus, if I simply go to my console. So plus is not working. Oh, I also have to reload it basically. So if you click on plus, inspect, I go to the third product, click on plus, and now we can select it because I think so. It has only one product in the stock. Okay, so if I go to this one, and now I can select the multiple, so like this. You can see that I can decrease the stock, and if I go to one, it's not going to work. All right. So now you can see that it has only 11 products in the stock. If I go to my VS Code, let me show you first of all. So that is the data. And let me show you first of all for the, you can see that this has uh, uh, stock of zero, this one. And then the mod has stock of one. So that's why we cannot select that before. But in the head, and, uh, what that was that is 11 this is the boss so this has stock of 11 you can see that so I cannot select more than 11 in this case uh, you can see that here I can decrease it but I cannot decrease it 11 all right so this needed our quantity select is working properly so in my next video i want to handle this add to cart button I, when i click on the add to cart i have to add this product in the cart and also i have to put the quantity in the cart all right so i will handle this add to cart button in my next video and i hope you understand what you have done in this video